Stain varnishing is an application that retains the structure and character of the underlying material. Before you begin, make sure that you have everything you need. Linseed oil paint in the colour of your choice. Boiled linseed oil for diluting the paint. Balsam turpentine. An empty pot for mixing the paint in. A measuring gauge and pots for mixing. Stick for stirring the paint. Oil-based varnish for the follow-up application. Suitable brushes. Sanding material for rubbing down the underlying surface. Brush for cleaning. Cloth for wiping the paintbrushes and hands. Soap for washing the paintbrushes and hands. Before you begin, we recommend that you first read the application instructions and tips included in our brochure and on our website. Estimated rate of distribution per coat of pre-mixed stain on unprepared wood is 5 to 10 square metres per litre. The drying time is 1 to 2 days under normal drying conditions. The optimal temperature to apply the paint is between 5 to 25 degrees Celsius. Make sure that you have good ventilation in the room where you're painting, especially for drying purposes. The varnish oil that you mix contains balsam turpentine, therefore it is advisable to use a paint mask if you're painting a large area indoors. Before applying the paint, it is recommended that water is first applied to a planed wooden surface so that the wood grain rises. When the wood has dried, the raised fibres are then sanded so that the surface becomes smooth. Brush off all remaining dust before painting. Mark the mixing pot with lines so that you can mix equal parts of the balsam turpentine and boiled linseed oil. 50% balsam turpentine, 50% boiled linseed oil. Open the paint pot with a putty knife so that you avoid damaging the lid. Add a small amount of paint to the staining oil. Experiment carefully with a small amount so that the shade does not become darker than you originally intended. Mix thoroughly. Here it is a good idea to use an old used brush so that you can mix the paint evenly in the staining oil. Apply a little of the stain on a panel that has the same characteristics as those which you intend to paint. After a visual inspection you can determine whether you need to add more paint in order to darken the result. This should be done with care and gradually until you achieve the desired result. Allow this procedure to take the necessary time as it is fundamental for the final result. You must have a sufficient amount of paint for the surface you're going to stain as it can be difficult to mix exactly the same shade a second time. When you're satisfied with the colour, pour the stain into a container with a lid. When painting a door with panels, it is a good idea to have two sizes of brushes. Avoid dipping the brush too deeply so that you get too much paint on it, as it will be runny and difficult to apply the stain evenly. The small brush is used on the profiles on the panels. Apply the stain wet on wet with even brush strokes and avoid going back over areas you have already painted as there is a risk that it will be uneven. When painting a panel door, always begin with the panels and finish with the frame. Make it a rule to regularly stir the stain so it remains well mixed and consistent. Do not dip the brush too deeply. The large brush is used for the larger surfaces as it holds more paint and will make the work go faster. Continue painting and smooth out the paint thoroughly. Avoid going back over your work and make sure that an equal amount of stain has been applied over the entire surface.
Finish off by painting the frame, first the horizontal parts and then the vertical ones. When the stain has dried after approximately one to two days, the oil varnish is applied to make the surface more durable. Pour a little of the varnish into a pot that fits the brush. In this case, we are using a fairly broad primer brush that holds a lot of varnish, as oil varnish can be applied quite liberally. Wait a few minutes, then wipe off any excess with a cloth. The result is a beautiful door with lots of character in the shade that you wanted. It is important that you rinse the cloth in water before throwing it away to prevent spontaneous combustion. Wash the brushes in soap and water. It is a good investment to look after your brushes, as a good brush is expensive. A second-hand, well-maintained brush is also better to work with than one that is brand new. If you intend to continue painting in a few days using the same paint, it is not necessary to wash the brushes, but just let them remain in raw linseed oil so that the paint doesn't dry. Put the lid on the pot and label it so that you know what there is in the paint store. Applying a stain varnish will result in a beautiful surface where the character of the material is emphasised.